Today's video is brought to you by Upstart. Hey brother, and welcome everyone to another edition of Jay vs. Ben. Today we are taking the ultimate Hogwarts castle quiz. My palms are all sweaty. Before we dive on into the quiz, I have to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Upstart. Financial responsibility is a big deal, so always be sure to do your homework and make the right decision for you. Guys, it is a new year, which means new me. And between hitting the gym, eating cleaner, learning a new school, there are plenty of ways to new me it up in the new year. But I can't think of anything better than finding a way to get yourself free of that high interest credit card debt. And that is where Upstart is here to help. They go beyond the traditional credit score to determine your worthiness, taking in lifestyle factors like your education and job history to determine your rate. They make it fast, easy, and simple to get that rate figured out and once approved, most people find they get their funds the very next day. Go and find out why Upstart is number one in their category on Trustpilot with over 300 reviews. Find out how low your Upstart rate could be by going to upstart.com slash SCB. It only takes a few minutes. Again, that is upstart.com slash SCB. Link is in the description down below. The Hogwarts Castle quiz, all right. We've I'm done good. one before. We've done one before. This is a different, how many questions are there? Guys, this quiz is going to have 15 questions plus our bonus Patreon quiz master question. Tyler is going to be asking us those questions and then we have to remember them from memory. Yes, but if we both agree that we would like to hear the multiple choice, then we can hear the multiple choice or we can just be like, ha, I know it, too bad, sucker. And then especially, especially if that's the case, we have our 30 second timer here. You can force somebody to answer within a short period of time. Yes, if you would like to play along with us, and we hope that you do, we've included a link to this quiz in the description down below. I think that's everything. Are you ready? Let's dive on in. Question one, what should you watch out for on the hidden staircase concealed by a tapestry? Hidden staircase concealed by a tapestry. There's a lot of a lot of things happening on this staircase. Man, I feel like this is not a very good start to the thing. I feel like the the quiz the quiz writers over at Wizarding World have started a change up where question one is real hard and then they start going into softballs. Okay. They try and trip you up out of the gate to like throw you off your- So, so sort of make your palms yeah. extra sweatier? Yeah, they're not like trying to ease you into the water anymore. They're like straight to the deep end. Now to the shallows, back to the deep. Well, I don't feel great about it, but I'll, I'll, I'll go for it because I don't have anything else. I'm so. sure you're right. Three, two, one. A trick stare. A vanishing step. The correct answer is a vanishing step, which I'll give to both of you. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Fantastic. Actually, I heard yours and I was like, Oh man, that's He's totally writing good. a lot. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> well, I was like, I don't want to write trick stare and people be like, well, what does that mean? Okay, but so that staircase is hidden by a tapestry? I guess so. This is like a staircase that people regularly go on. Is it? Yeah. I, I don't ever remember it being described as hidden. It seems like the things in the castle that are hidden are so often so well known that the fact that they're hidden is almost just like a like it's not actually it's not, a feature right, of it. It's not yeah. really a secret, but every because everyone knows. But at that point in time, it's like, why do we hang this tapestry in front of this? We have to walk around it every time. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, question okay. two. Sorry. Question two. Which Hogwarts tower is the tallest? Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Astronomy. The Astronomy Tower. The answer is the Astronomy Man, Tower. I must have Ravenclaw. I did too. I was like, no, I no, it's too. not which house. Yep, I had which this, tower. I think me and you had the same exact thought. It was like, yeah. ooh. Question three. How do you enter the Hogwarts kitchens? Oh, okay. I got you. You good? Yeah. All right. Okay. Three, two, one. Tickle a pear on a bowl of fruit. <coughs> a, a painting of a bowl, bowl of fruit. fruit. Tickle, yes. yeah, tickle the pear. <laughs> you got a pear? <laughs> Give it a tickle. <laughs> well, I realized what I had written, wait, like there could just be like a like bowl of fruit that is like right. on a pedestal or yes, something. Yes, that's true. <laughs> the answer is there is a bowl of fruit on a pedestal and you need, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no! Nice. <laughs> tickle the pear in a bowl of fruit painting. The, nice. the correct answer. I, right. I also wrote, the first time I wrote portrait. Portraits are of people. Question four. Where is the Slytherin common room located? There's a certain specificity to this answer. A certain specificity? Yes. Now this also may just be challenging my knowledge of where it's located because it's not, the correct answer is not the answer I would have given. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, I think, I feel like I know I yeah. the specific detail that they're talking I about. I think so too. I think it's maybe that. So anyway. Yeah. 
that. Three, two, one. The dungeons under the lake. And the dungeons under the lake. The answer they ask for is under the lake. Okay. okay. So you, you get you your go. point. I would have right. just said dungeons. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel, I, Ben, I feel like we are starting to get into the mind of the quiz writer. I, okay, I don't want to toot our own horn too hard here, but I have to imagine that a considerable amount of the traffic that these quizzes gets comes from our quizzes here. What I really want to know is if there are employees at uh, Wizarding World that watch ours and it, it's affecting the type of questions Ooh, that are we getting. affecting the quiz? I know, that's what I want to oh, know. That's what I want yeah. Let us know, Wizarding World. But actually, let us know, like, in a question. Oh, like, how cool would that that'd be? be like, even better. If we were, like, a multiple choice answer or something like that, it's like, what? Are you good? Yeah, yeah sorry, I was okay. just geeking out our, over our own awesomeness. Yeah, I just want to make sure you were good. Question five. What happens if a boy tries to enter the Gryffindor girls' dormitories? I don't really know how to word this, but I, I know what it is. Me too! I'll accept a picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Three, yep. two, one. The stair started to a slide. Yeah, <laughs> to <laughs> yeah. Yours is better. The correct answer is the staircase becomes a slide. Nice. You guys are both five for five. I'm Whoa. Gonna need to, it's uh, not me that makes the questions, but I will need to find a challenging one here pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they're going to get there. Yeah. Question six. Which creatures does Harry not encounter in the Forbidden Forest? Is it A, moon calves, B, acromantula, C, hippogriffs, or D, Centaurs. And it's it's not select all that applies, just which of the following. Do you think there's more than one? I'm just clarifying. Okay. <laughs> no, it is which of the fo which okay. creature does Harry not encounter? Okay. okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Moon moon calves. Calves. I'm kidding, moon calves. Moon calves is the correct answer. <laughs> that was about what I was like. Mmm, hippogriffs. I'm pretty sure he brings them out of the forest. If they had moon calves in there, it would have been one of those things that was in like such a bizarre throwaway line. Oh yeah, like, like if, book one, they're like, oh yeah, that's where the moon calves were. Question seven. The room of requirement is located opposite the room of requirement is located opposite a tapestry of whom? I feel I do. I feel like I know this, and I would be open to the multiple choice just so I get the the phrasing correct. Yeah, I think I would agree. Yeah. I think I don't know if this is right or not. I'm gonna write this down first. Yes, me too. Okay. okay. Yeah, multiple choice it up. Yeah. Is it A. Barnabas the Barmy? B. Boris the Bewildered? C. Wendelin the Weird? Or D. Gregory the Smarmy? Did it like conflict you? A, a little bit. Uh -oh. I, I may be impressed with the quiz master here, their ability to write names that sound familiar, unless these are all paintings in the castle. Um, at least some of the, I think they're all real things. I, okay. I feel a little unsure, but I'll go for it. Okay. Three, two, one. Said A. A. The answer is A, Barnabas the Barmy. Yeah, I've written down Barnaby before we started. Barney. I wrote down not troll. Barnabas, uh, why, why was I thinking there was a troll, like a painting of a troll well, dancing or something? I'm not sure I want to tell you. That's across from another thing. Uh, as I feel like uh, might come up. And now for our Patreon Quizmaster question of the game. Hooray! About this, time. This question was submitted by Apollo and voted on by the patrons. That's the god Apollo. Whoa, Whoa! He himself! <laughs> the actual man! God of the sun! God of the responsible for the rising and setting of the sun in his chariot! Thank you for your support, Apollo. If you'd like to submit a question or vote on which question will be in the quiz, go to patreon.com slash Brothers and select the quiz master tier. And your voice work right now is yeah. like so spot on. Top notch. I just wanted to, I, I'd like to, you know, it's, yeah, a, it's yeah. a roller coaster. Yeah. No, of course, of yeah. course, absolutely. Like Apollo's chariot. <laughs> question. List all the known rooms that the Room of Requirement has turned into. Oh boy. If you'd like, I can tell you how many answers there are. It is more than I thought. I am struggling with what to call one of them. Several people use it for the same thing. Dumbledore's army, I feel like no one's missing out yeah, on. No, right, okay. Right. And, so and that's you don't, like you don't need to, use yeah. for the so same thing. My quite, right. okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this out there because I don't feel like you're gonna miss this one. Would you count Neville's use of it in book seven as also Dumbledore's army? I wrote that as a separate thing okay. just because it, it did seem like like Neville starts hiding out there and right. then it seems like people start coming and then it has like hammocks and like stuff. So I would argue that that's a different use of the room. I okay. will tell you that the quiz master would not argue that. They the quiz the master would say the same thing. Okay. Oh, then it is the same thing. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm just going to write. You want to turn? Yeah. Okay, let's let's go for okay. it. And we can we can argue about it because I think that there's maybe some some nuance. Sure. 3 2 1. Have the room of hidden things. The room of hidden things. The chamber pots for Dumbledore. Chamber pots. You had the DA headquarters. Yep. 
And I have Winky Recovery Room. I have Elf Elf Rehab Winky. Winky. Okay, so we have the same. Same four. Okay. And we both agree that Neville's use of the DA room is different than Harry's, but Okay, I will I will give you each four points. Four points? Yeah. Oh, we get a point per? Well, yeah, sure. All right. Cool. I mean, I guess it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. matter. <laughs> it's all relative. But right. <laughs> I mean, this is one where, like, if you'd only gotten two and I'd gotten, like, all four, it'd that, be a big it, difference. It would have made a big difference. Yeah, it would have made true. a big difference. Yeah. There are three you didn't get. Really? Really? Okay. According to the, there's one that I'm surprised you didn't get, and you may have some insight on this that I don't have and the Quizmaster doesn't have. The first answer is the Spartan Room, which is where the Mirror of Erised is found. Oh. Mm. No, I, I don't know if that's true. I don't know that it is either, but yeah, I, I, I think I'm reading the answer. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then there's two answers uh, that are sort of DA adjacent, and I think they're the same thing. I, I don't know that I would have separated them, but there is a broom cupboard and Filch's supply room. Oh, uh, I do think Fred and George say that it's a broom cupboard when they found it once. Mm. Like it was just a broom. It was a place. To oh, hide like from. when they find it for. Yeah, and okay. then and then Filch has it for. Okay, so that's okay, that's, that's that's fair. fair. Okay, I'll I'll agree to those. I'll okay. agree to those. But I disagree with Mira Me too. Question eight: Where does the passageway concealed by a one-eyed witch statue lead? Three, two, one. Into the basement of Honeydukes. Honeydukes basement. In England, it is Honeydukes cellar. Well, you get the point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question nine. How many staircases are there in Hogwarts? Note from Jordan, you both got this wrong last time it was in a quiz. I was going to say, I remember that. Um, <laughs> we both thought we were taking a different quiz, and as soon as he told us that it was the Hogwarts Castle quiz, I was like, how many staircases are there? Yeah, I, I have a number. There's a way that I've come up with remembering what I think is this number. Uh, so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't feel super comfortable about it. All right, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I said 123. Said 142. Ah, oh, yours feels better. The correct answer is 142. Yes. Oh. Oh man. man. Have you ever heard of the numbers one, four, three, meaning I love you? Like because it's one is I, mm -hmm. four L O V E, mm -hmm. three Y O U. I love you. I've not heard that. No. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. Really? But so that's why you remember the staircases? What? Well, because it's one less. Oh, one. And I don't even think that I remembered it was staircases. It could have been the number of portraits. It would have like, I don't, I don't have any good reason other than I knew that number, and I'm glad that it applied to the right thing. Mm. Huzzah! Question ten: What do Muggles see when they look at Hogwarts? How specific does the wording need to be? Not at all. Oh, okay. okay. Three, two, one. Ruins. Smoldering old ruins. 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 The, the correct answer is an old ruin. You got credit. Yay! I was like, we made this video about the castle. I know, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. What people would see and why even our answer fits that. Oh my gosh, ridiculous thing, in case you haven't seen that video, if you go to Google Earth and you go to the spot where Hogwarts is supposed to exist, when we were looking at it on the map, you can see through the corners of one like giant pixel that is blurred out yeah. what is supposed to be an island in the middle of a lake. Right, yeah, And it's yeah. like... Why is it blurred out? It was literally, I mean, I let it load forever. I tried reloading the page and it continued to blur this one spot. Other people did say in the comments that they could see it just fine. On the day we were writing it and whenever I tried to look at it, it was blurred. Oh, maybe it just means that they are in fact wizards. Wizards, are right. <sighs> hmm. That hurts. Question 11. Which Hogwarts subject is taught in the North Tower? I like when I ask a question and I look up and Ben is just staring at me like, how dare you? <laughs> I know, I, I do hold you responsible for asking questions that I feel Why unsure about. Why would you even? Do you have a one point lead, so. I know, I gotta, I gotta try and get it back. Okay, here we go. Um, Flipping the timer. I feel like I'm just blanking on the name of this subject, which I actually do think that I know. Go, 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 sand, go, sand. Three, two, one. Divination. Divination. Divination is the correct answer. I, oh. I don't know why um, astronomy and divination end up like, I, I think in my head, I, I always think of like astrological signs. Oh, like, like some, such yeah. a Scorpio. Well, like Frenzy <laughs> even uses a lot of like stars for his divination classes. Exactly. Question 12. Which feature of the Hogwarts grounds owes its existence to Remus Lupin? All, All right. right. Ready? Three, two, one. The Swamping Swillow. That's the one. Yeah. The Swamping Swillow is correct. Yes! Yeah! Question 13. Which of these people were never a Hogwarts head teacher? Is it A, Dexter Fortescue, B, Phineas Nigellus Black, C, Dillis Derwent, or D, 
Roderick Plumpton. Which of these was not head of house? Was never a Hogwarts head teacher. And so, and then, so the question is, which of these was not? Was, n yeah, not. And which of these was not? Because I only know one of them to be. I think I know two of them to be, but I don't know which of my remaining two, I think. Which of, and this, sorry, the question is, which of these was not? Correct. Okay. <laughs> Scott's gonna have a, like, counter on screen for I the know. number of times you <laughs> <he> said. <laughs> okay. Just so we're clear, which was not? <laughs> okay. Okay, I've got my answer. I don't know if it's correct. But I've settled. I can only I can only reason with myself for so long. Ah, I don't like it. Ready? Okay. Three, two, one. I said Roderick Plumpton. I said Dexter Fortescue. Oh. The correct answer is D. Roderick Plumpton. Yes! Oh no. my God. Jeez. It's a bring it back into the tie. Why? Uh, basically, what it came down to was I'm pretty sure Dillis is the one he sends to St. Mungo's or to like let them know they're coming. Oh, and oh, Phineas oh, and Jealous okay. Black definitely already was head of Slytherin House. Yeah, and then okay. I was like, Dexter Fortescue was just like Florian Fortescue. And I was just like, either the fact that we know the last name means he was, or it means that we know exactly what it was and he wasn't. And I was just like, I don't, uh, but I had never heard the name Roderick Pumpkin. So I was just like, I'm gonna, I'm leaning on that as a completely made up wizard name. So, but like Florian Fortescue is the one who owns like the ice cream shop, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. So that was like, I thought for sure what they were trying to do was to trick you into the like a false sense of <coughs> yeah. recognition. Yeah, that was where I was, I was sort of like, would, would the head of house have raised an ice cream salesman? I don't know. Is there anything wrong with being an ice cream salesman? No, I don't think so. Entrepreneur or a teacher? Which makes more money? Bringer of joy. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Question 14. Which floor is the prefect's bathroom on? You knew right away. I, I, had, I had a gut instinct. I'm just going with it. This feels like a dangerous place for me to be in right now. Tied for first? Well... He, yeah, that's a dangerous he, place. He, he has, yes, he has a strong answer, and I feel like, uh, this is one of those questions. Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Four, four. Second floor. I at least feel confident that I don't think it's the second floor. The prefix bathroom is on the fifth floor. Oh, oh. also wrong. I will take I will My take other guess was, I will take my other guess was third, so I was totally wrong. Well, if it makes you feel better, I have the quiz in front of me, <laughs> and I read the answers. And like the correct answer is bold. And up until I said it just now, I thought it was fourth. See, so. I think it was the alliteration because it was the f. The, oh yeah, I, the got fourth the, floor. I got the fourth floor, fifth floor, fourth floor, fifth floor. So maybe there's an easy argument for this though because you become prefect in your fifth year. Mm, fifth that floor, makes sense. fifth year. I was, I was almost like, yeah, fourth book, fourth floor. Oh, fourth book. Fourth I book for Harry. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Harry when he goes, okay, and Goblet yeah. of Fire. Yeah, I, I couldn't remember. Yeah, I didn't know if it was like maybe I know third floor corridor is the one they're not supposed to go on. Which right. like I, I can't imagine that they have the prefix bathroom on the same floor that Fluffy was stored on. Could be hidden behind a tapestry. Who knows? <laughs> Last question. Oh, God. Question. Oh, it was all tied up. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Here we go. Question 15. Which ancient tome lies hidden in a secret locked tower at Hogwarts. I know what they're asking. I do too. And I know we've, even, we've even made a video about it. I just don't know the name of it. I feel like if we go multiple choice, we'll both get it. If you're close, I'll give it to you. You have such a huge responsibility. I really do. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you think is more universally loved, me or Alex Trebek? When it really comes down to it. <laughs> Alex Trebek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with turning. I, I mean, okay. if you happen, I I think at the end of the day, if I lose on this, I, I am fairly certain, unless I am just wildly wrong, people at the very least will recognize that I, I knew what it was. The thing is, we both know what this is. Right. So I don't really feel, you're right. Let's just go. Okay, three, two, one. I said the book of acceptance. I said the book of records. The quill of acceptance, it's, I think, writes in the book of whatever you remember that i because yeah I, I people will see that i have switched back between the book of choosing and the book of acceptance right Late so i don't know just whatever. give us the bad news the good news is i will give you both the point okay the bad news is you are both wrong okay uh the name of the book is the book of admittance admittance oh, oh yes. that's pretty close it's pretty close that's, was it the quill of acceptance uh, the book it of admittance say. yeah okay. so <laughs> okay. it, this is how the students that are chosen to come to hogwarts are chosen right and like once they reveal um magical ability the quill will have to write in the book and it's an augury quill which normally doesn't make for a good quill because it doesn't write with ink but it whatever for whatever reason this works and 
the quill and the book have to be in agreement when the quill writes the name down. And if the name is written down, that person gets a letter. Yes, exactly what I was going to say. Exactly. Also, I think Hagrid says in Sorcerer's Stone, like he alludes to it, like he says, like, this boy's had his name down since, Yeah. you know, whatever. Yeah. So, Ugh. so we tied. We tied. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it a win. And I'm okay if people are upset that we gave ourselves credit for that. I mean, even if we don't, we, we still, still tie. So thanks, Trebek. Woo! Okay, so Trebek is liked more. But what about the guy who took over on Drew Carey? I think I could fight Drew Carey. You think you could beat Drew Carey in a fight? Well, a fist fight or a host fight? No, I, it has to be a host fight with a tiny microphone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, be sure to let us know what you did on the quiz, what your score was in the towel section down, down below. below. Did you guys beat us? We definitely want to know. Guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. Please remember to like it if you haven't already and subscribe so you don't miss any future J vs. Benz. If you want to see more quizzes, you can check out this playlist right here. Or if you want to hear more of Tyler's voice, you can check out his podcast, Bacon and Eggs, right here. But until next time, bye! bye.